Welcome back to the deep dive. You know, for years we've heard these promises about the truly autonomous home. That moment when uh, advanced tech finally gets off the kitchen counter and actually starts, well, doing the heavy lifting for us. And today we've got this really fascinating stack of source material about a real world example hitting the market. It's the launch of a consumer grade humanoid robot. Pretty exciting stuff. Oh, absolutely. We're definitely moving beyond just theory here. So our deep dive today, it's really zeroing in on the specifics we've gathered. You know, the launch info, the pre-order details, the specs for this new machine. And it's not just about what the robot can do. It's also about what the company uh, needs from you to make it all work. Right. So our mission here is to kind of cut through the noise, the marketing hype. Mm -hmm. We need to pull out the key facts for you listening. What's the hardware like? What's the, well, the pretty heavy cost involved, mm -hmm. the timeline. And this one really surprising detail, sort of a caveat buried in the requirements. It kind of shifts the whole dynamic between you and this new home AI. Okay. So let's unpack the main offering first. What is this thing? Yeah, exactly. What are we actually talking about inviting into our homes? The sources are clear. It's called the 1X Neo. And it's positioned as, well, the blueprint for domestic robots, isn't it? The sources really stress its structure is bipedal, humanoid, built specifically to, you know, move around and work in environments made for humans. Your kitchen, living room, its job personalized help and chores. Okay, bipedal sounds straightforward, walks on two legs. But, you know, for anyone who follows robotics, that immediately flags a huge engineering challenge. Yeah. Why is making a robot walk on two legs in a uh, typical home such a massive technical hurdle? What makes it so different from, say, a robot on wheels? Well, that's the core difficulty, isn't it? Wheeled robots are great on flat, predictable surfaces like factory floors. But a home, it's chaos. You got stairs, rugs, clutter, Pets, maybe, kids' toys, everywhere. The big challenge with bipedalism and what the 1X Neo is promising to handle is that dynamic balance needed for, well, unpredictable navigation. It's incredibly complex, moving its center of gravity over just two points while dealing with unexpected stuff. We often talk about the sim to real gap. You can simulate walking perfectly in a computer, but the second it encounters, I don't know, a real sock on a real floor, the simulation often just breaks down. The real world is messy. Ah, okay. So the design itself being bipedal really raises the stakes on its promise of being autonomous. And the company seems to be leaning into that, marketing the 1X Neo as having full AI software. So they're not just selling metal and circuits. They're selling intelligence, adaptability. Exactly. They're claiming a cognitive jump here. This isn't meant to be just a pre-programmed machine following set paths. The idea is that it learns your routine, figures out where you keep things, adapts to the, you know, the reality of home life. And it's that promise of real intelligence that makes the next part so interesting. Because if the AI is truly full, why does it still seem to need uh, a kind of tether? We'll definitely get back to that tether. But first, let's talk brass tacks. Access. Timing. A machine that promises to solve that sim to real gap and master walking around doing chores. Well, it can't be cheap. For you listening, what's the financial barrier to entry here? Yeah, the barrier is substantial. This definitely isn't your standard smart speaker purchase. The sources say it's available for pre-order now, directly from the company 1X. And the outright purchase price, $20,000. $20,000. Wow. Okay, that puts it squarely in the luxury appliance category, doesn't it? Maybe not competing with a dishwasher, but perhaps with like major home renovations or a very high-end piece of gym equipment, maybe even a down payment on a car. For sure. And that price tag immediately tells you who they're targeting initially. It's the early adopters, people with enough disposable income for a $20,000 convenience buy. Mm. And who are curious enough to essentially beta test this very advanced tech in their own homes. Though, interestingly, they also offer a subscription model, which might signal they're trying to um, normalize it a bit. You can also pay $499 a month. Hmm, that monthly payment is revealing $499 a month. That puts it right up there with like a luxury car lease or maybe high-end cleaning services, doesn't it? It suggests the company sees this less as a one-off product purchase and more like a continuous service, an asset that's always connected and supported in your home. It's probably a way to segment the market. Yeah. yeah. And maybe lock in revenue long term because that fee likely covers more than just the hardware updates, maintenance, and uh, as we're about to get into that necessary human help. But even if you can budget for it, you won't get it tomorrow. Right. We're talking futuristic tech, but its arrival has a date. When does this $20,000 robot actually show up? Delivery is scheduled for 2026. 
So a couple years out. This kind of two-year lead time isn't unusual for tech this complex, really. It gives 1x time to sort out manufacturing, supply chains, and, probably most importantly, keep tweaking those AI models based on more testing. For the buyer, it means you're essentially funding the final stages of R&D now for a payoff later. Okay, so let's recap the basics. $20,000 up front or $499 a month delivery in 2026. And it's a machine promising to tackle that huge challenge of bipedal movement for chores using full AI. Now, let's shift to the operational side, because this is where things get really interesting. It kind of fundamentally changes what personalized assistance might mean. Yeah, if you dig into the, uh, the fine print, the operational terms, the service needs, that's where you find the catch. To make the One X Neo work effectively as this personalized assistant, it seems it can't be entirely autonomous. Mm -hmm. Our sources indicate that a company representative, well, they might need remote access. They might need to actually look into your home through the robot's camera eyes. Whoa, okay, let's pause on that for a second. We're talking about potentially granting remote visual access to a robot that's walking around in the most private parts of your home, your bedroom, kitchen, living room. This isn't just like sending anonymous usage data back to the company. This is potentially inviting a human employee somewhere else to see your raw, unedited home life. It's a huge trade-off, no question. And the reason they give for this access is pretty straightforward. It's required, they say, to help get things done which really is a direct admission about that sim to real gap we talked about. It strongly implies that even with full AI, it's not quite robust enough yet for every single unique situation it might encounter in a home. So let's say I ask Neo, hey, can you sort out that messy pile of mail on the counter? Mm -hmm. The AI might just get stuck, right? It might not understand the context, what's important mail, what's a permission slip, what's junk. And if the robot hits a wall on a task like that, the company's solution isn't necessarily a better algorithm right away. It's a human operator logging in to essentially see what the robot sees and maybe guide it. That's exactly it. The human provides that context, that judgment, that current AI, even very advanced AI, still struggles with in such an open, unpredictable setting. Think of it like um, very sophisticated training wheels. They're using human intelligence as the backup system to keep that promise of personalized service alive. Mm -hmm. So if you want Neo to, say, clean up a spill, but it's an expensive cleaner near a delicate rug, a human could look through the camera and give specific instructions, okay, move left, grab the blue cloth, not the paper towels, lift that rug corner a bit, that kind of thing. That's a really crucial point for you listening, because it means that hefty price tag. It isn't just for the robot and its brain. It's also funding this external human support system needed to solve those tricky novel problems. It sort of reframes the One X Neo, doesn't it? It's less a standalone autonomous robot hmm. and more like an AI platform that's constantly capable of being monitored and sometimes guided by human operators. And it says a lot about where we currently are with robotics in the home. The biggest challenge often isn't just moving around, it's understanding intent and context in a world that's always changing. By requiring this potential remote access, One X is basically keeping a level of supervision making sure their $20,000 machine doesn't just completely fail when it sees something unexpected, like a chair in a weird spot or a pile of laundry it doesn't recognize. And this connects right back to that subscription model too, you figure. That $499 a month, it's likely helping pay for the human labor needed to peek through the robot's eyes and fix those issues. So you're paying a premium, essentially, for human-in-the-loop assistance, just delivered remotely. What's interesting is that they're being upfront about this, or perhaps they have to be. They probably had to include this detail because without that remote help, they likely couldn't guarantee the kind of nuanced performance needed for complex chores. It seems they're prioritizing capability, getting the job done over absolute sealed off privacy. So the convenience of having this chore doing humanoid robot is directly linked, it seems to potentially giving up some visual privacy in your home to a third party company observer, even if just temporarily. This feels like the definition of the modern tech trade-off, right? What are you willing to share to get that next level of automation? It seems the AI's sophistication is limited by its weakest point. And right now, in the home environment, that weak point appears to be contextual judgment, which they're patching effectively with human eyes via remote link. It's just the reality of where advanced domestic AI is in, well, late 2024 heading into the launch. 
This has been a really fascinating deep dive into what it actually takes to bring these advanced robots home. So to quickly summarize the key takeaways for you, the One X Neo is a $20,000 bipedal robot or $499 a month using full AI set for 2026 delivery. It's definitely aimed at wealthy early adopters, but and it's a big but that convenience comes with this built-in requirement for potential remote human access via the robot's cameras. It's needed to make sure that personalized assistance actually works in the real world. Yeah, and if we step back and look at the bigger picture here. The launch of the One X Neo really highlights how blurry the line is becoming between private, standalone tech and these service-connected monitored devices. It seems like the push for truly functional AI in our homes almost inherently requires this connectivity, this layer of external human support. Which leaves us with a really important question for you to mull over. If the most advanced home help needs a human employee to potentially look into your home to solve problems, have we just shifted the labor to a remote call center? And what does that really mean for the future of autonomy itself? Definitely something to think about as that $20,000 question of privacy versus truly personalized service starts walking into our living rooms. We'll see you next time for another deep dive.